Um, I'd like you to stay focused and with me on this, but please raise your hand if there's questions on anything I'm saying. I do want to start this with, this is not my favorite way to take notes because we're going to be taking notes on things you haven't learned yet. I usually like us to have a learning experience and then capture some notes so it starts to make sense, but we're going to have to do this in reverse order mainly because of our short week this week. So <clears throat> we're going to start here with slope. Slope is a ratio. As we just saw in that video, I showed you like negative seven over five was the slope or whatever the number was. The top number and the bottom number both mean something when we're graphing. And a short way to remember them is change in y over the change in x. change in y over the change in x. We just saw this referenced in that video, how it's often referred to, which is rise over run. Visually, because I am a visual learner, I think of it like this. The rise moves up or down on the graph and the run moves left or right. Where is the y axis on the graph? It's the line that goes up and and the x goes across. So these go together. Y, rise, up or down. X, run left or right. Thumbs up, everybody's got this. I'm seeing most thumbs and a couple still writing. Okay. Now we're going to capture for our notes the adventures of Slope Dude. What does he say as he's going up? You can also color code this to match your color coding. What does he say as he's coming down? Who's ever sledded down a hill before? Who's had to like get your desk or whatever and go back up to the top? What happens when you're climbing up? Slow and hard. That's why the puff, puff, positive. Get it? He's climbing the hill. What happens when you're coming down? That's the fun part, isn't it? Okay, what does Slope Dude say when it's flat? Why? Because going across something flat is not as fun as going speeding down a hill.
Okay, we're going to fill in these this table on the bottom of this page. And then that's going to be it for today. Again, we have not learned this yet, but we will be using this over the next few weeks. Intercepts are places on the graph where the line you're drawing crosses one of the axes. So, for the x-intercept, it is the, po the point where the graph crosses the x-axis. point where the graph crosses the x-axis. The y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. Again, I don't like taking notes this way, but I'm going to ask you just to write this down and we will be coming back to it. It says plug in zero for y and solve for x. And the other says the opposite. Plug in zero for x and solve for y. We will take care of the inside of this tomorrow on our short day. 